Hey mom, look what we learned. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 kids' movies that dealt with serious issues. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at movies intended for younger audiences that touch on important social or political issues. Lots of kids' movies have morals in them like be true to yourself or coming of age themes, but we're focusing on those that tackle something on a bigger scale. Number 10, The Lego Movie. All of you have the ability inside of you to be a groundbreaker. Audiences didn't necessarily have high expectations for this film, which could easily have just been a ploy to rake in merchandising dollars. But by the time they left the theater, moviegoers were not just entertained. They also probably noticed that the Lego movie actually dealt with some interesting political themes. I'm just a construction worker. But when I had a plan and we were all working together, I mean, we could build a skyscraper. The storyline has some highly satirical undertones and subtly addresses class issues, with film critic Bill Gay Beery even describing it as portraying, quote, a proletarian Lego revolution. On the other hand, some critics argued the opposite, that the message was really meant to be anti-socialist. Take from it what you will. All I'm asking for is total perfection. Number 9. Fern Gully, The Last Rainforest but trees give life. They, they make the clouds, the rain, the air. It was both entertaining and delivered a strong environmental message. Fern Gully, The Last Rainforest tells the story of a group of fairies in the Australian rainforest as they defend their home from evil external forces. The movie is often cited as a prime example of political messages in kids' movies, including in books like Disney, Pixar, and the hidden messages of children's films. First thing, all these trees go. Then come your highways, then come your shopping malls, and your parking lots and your convenience stores. Wayne Young, the movie's producer, said it was, quote, blatantly environmental. Although we have gone to a lot of trouble to avoid preaching, we also want it to be viewed as entertainment. What's a machine? It's a... a thing for cutting down trees. Number 8. How to Train Your Dragon I don't want to fight dragons. <laughs> Come on, yes you do. This movie may be set in a fantasy land, but that doesn't mean it can't address real-world issues. The Viking village of Burke has a dragon problem and responds to it with violence. One young man, however, decides to challenge convention after bonding with one of the dragons and proves that violence isn't always the best way to get what you want. The message in the film has been related to a range of real-world conflicts, and the movie was even described by Pop Matters as, quote, a political thriller. I looked at him, and I saw myself. Number 7. The Lorax Our oh. research shows that if you put something in a plastic bottle, people will buy it. In 1971, Dr. Seuss published his picture book, The Lorax, and it was immediately recognized as a political text critical of corporate greed, with a strong environmental message to boot. When Hollywood put their version of the story to film, they could have watered down the strong political message. But most would argue that they actually doubled down on it showing a whole new generation of kids the perils of unbridled capitalism. The more smog in the sky, <laughs> the more people will buy. Some criticize the film for attempting to, quote, indoctrinate audiences with the radical message that maybe we shouldn't destroy the environment for profit. But they were definitely part of the minority. Unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing is going to get better. It's not. Number 6. The Secret of Nim I must tell you about Nim and our plan. While some kids' movies only allude to social or political issues, this dark animated feature tackles one head-on. 1982's The Secret of Nim addresses the ethics of animal research in a story based on Robert C. O'Brien's novel Mrs. Frisbee and the Rats of Nim. The tale introduces audiences to a group of rats experimented on by the National Institute of Mental Health which granted them extraordinary intelligence and extended lifespans, but also left them completely dependent on human technology. Even decades later, the movie remains a timely reminder of our sometimes cavalier attitude towards other species. The miracle was kept secret from the scientists. Number 5. Finding Dory I suffer from short-term memory loss. When Dory was introduced in Finding Nemo, she was mostly there as a comedic sidekick. But in 2016, she got her own feature film, which delved into her tragic backstory and shone a spotlight on her mental impairment. What if I forget you? 
Would you ever forget me? While her short-term memory loss was played for laughs in the first movie, the follow-up addressed her intellectual disability with more care, showing both the challenges she faced and how she was able to overcome or work around them. In doing so, it promoted a message of compassion and inclusion towards those with cognitive impairments. I remembered something! I actually remembered something! Something important! Number 4. Coco oh, wait. What's going on? Who would have thought that a kid's movie in which most of the characters are dead would work so well? That was the premise of Coco, 2017's Disney Pixar film focusing on the Mexican tradition of Dia de los Muertos. Before its release, Disney courted controversy when they tried to trademark the name of the holiday. But in the end, the movie was not only respectful of tradition, it also addressed the issue of death for younger audiences. This isn't fair, it's my life! You already had yours! Through its thoughtful world-building and colorful characters, it framed our mortality in a way that emphasized memory and our relationship to those past. Our memories, they have to be passed down by those who knew us in life, in the stories they tell about us. Number 3. Inside Out In a lot of ways, Inside Out is a classic coming-of-age story. But the unique way in which it's told lets us delve deeper into the complex gamut of emotions that we all deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. It addresses the concept of sadness in a way that may have been targeted towards younger audiences, but definitely had the adult viewers feeling the poignant moments as well. Do you remember how she used to stick her tongue out when she was coloring? The filmmakers were so eager to get things right, they actually worked with psychologists from the University of California, Berkeley to ensure an accurate and healthy message. We were stuck here until morning? Yeah, the train of thought doesn't run while she's asleep. Oh, we can't wait that long. How about we wake her up? Sadness, that's ridiculous. Number two, Wally. Well, good morning, everybody, and uh, welcome to day 255,642 aboard the Axiom. In terms of overt social and political commentary, Wally is an easy choice. The very premise of the movie functions as a cautionary tale. In the 29th century, rampant consumerism has quite literally destroyed the Earth, and the planet's residents have been forced to evacuate. Sir, orders are, do not return to Earth. The film's portrayal of what humanity has become several centuries into the future is one that would make any viewer take a good hard look at themselves. Though this is a Pixar movie ostensibly created for children, it had a message that was just as powerful for older audiences as well. Try blue. It's the new red. Ooh. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. All in all is safe. Alternative fuel is safe. There is no way my fuel caused these cars to flame out. Guns kill. And you don't have to be a gun. Number one, Zootopia. Everyone comes to Zootopia thinking they can be anything they want. Well, you can't. This buddy cop comedy brought the laughs, but also functioned as a textbook fable, using anthropomorphic animals to impart a moral message. Released in the troubled political landscape of 2016, Zootopia managed to straddle a difficult divide. It was ridiculously entertaining, while addressing sexism and racism at the same time. A bunny can call another bunny cute, but when other animals do it, it's a little... <gasps> I am so sorry. That is a lot of narrative weight for one bunny to bear, but with a little help from Nick Wilde, Officer Judy Hopps pulled it off with gusto. Critics showered the movie with near-universal acclaim, and given the way it succeeds so well at so many levels, well, Zootopia, you earned it. Congratulations, Officer Hops. I won't let you down. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.